Good morning. It is Saturday, April 29th, about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm out here getting some steps, going on a walk, and I wanted to give you a quick little update about my experience with urolithin A. So I decided I wanted to do a test on myself, take urolithin A for 30 days. And last week I posted a video talking all about that. And today I wanted to kind of come back to that. So I, there was a study that uh, was inspiring to me where they did, uh, subjects took urolithin A for four months and showed increases in endurance, strength, and mitophagy, and mitogenesis, and stuff like that. Well, that was inspiring. I thought, well, I'm gonna try it. So I did my own little test, which was only for 30 days, so four weeks. At the beginning, I decided, okay, I'm gonna measure, I don't have a way of measuring mitophagy, so I'm gonna measure uh, strength and endurance. I'll measure endurance by, doing VO, by looking at my VO2 max and tracking that, see if there would be any changes. And then also my resting heart rate. Uh, the average over four weeks. And then also strength, that I would uh, see what I could do, increase my strength on the bench press. So how much weight I could lift for 10 repetitions on the bench press. At the end of the study, there was no change in VO2 max. There was a slight change in my resting heart rate. It went from 50 beats per minute average to down to 49. And my bench press, I was able to increase it from 135, so uh, lifting 135 for 10 repetitions, to 145 for 10 repetitions. So there's, it doesn't seem like it's very significant, very significant uh, improvements, but they are improvements. And someone posted saying, so basically it did nothing. <laughs> it's like, well, comparatively speaking, if you're comparing a 30-day time frame to the original study that you know that I talked about earlier to four months, right? That's a significant difference. So I wouldn't expect the, the results to be incredible, um, but I think it's tempting for someone to believe that, well, you know, it hasn't done anything at all. And one of the things he pointed out was your VO2 max didn't change at all until I looked at it again. So that's the reason I wanted to point, uh, post this video is that the very next morning I looked at my uh, VO2 max again and it had changed. So now I can say that after this time frame, my VO2 max has improved from 45 to 46 and all these other things that I talked about. And that seems insignificant, right? 45 to 46, that's not much of a change. But what is significant is that my VO2 max has, has been 45 since December. It has not changed for four months. And so, and I haven't really been working hard to improve it, right? You, I've been doing, I told my wife about this and she said, yeah, but you just started uh, running again. I was like, no, I've been running this whole time. I've been running this whole time, but what I've been doing has been low heart rate training. I've been doing something called math tone training. I'm gonna turn around and go back this way. Um, I've been doing something called MAF tone training, which is very low heart rate training. That isn't going to have an Im improvement or isn't going to, to improve your VO2 max very much at all. The way that you improve VO2 max is by high intensity training, by intervals and things like that. So the fact that I've been you know, running this whole time doing low heart rate training and not seeing that VO2 max change at all, and then to have it go up, and it just so happened to go up right after I concluded my, you know, taking urolithin A for four weeks. I, uh, it's interesting to me, right? I don't, again, I cannot say de definitively, I'm not trying to prove that urolithin A was a difference. I'm trying to figure it out for myself. And my own personal experience in doing this, I'm thinking, yeah, I think it has made a difference. Um, but we'll see over time. The problem is that, you know, I ran out of it and <laughs> I haven't been able to get any more because there's some supply chain issues, but I, I think I will come back to it and keep uh, taking it over a longer period of time, see what happens. But um, just wanted to give you that update. So I have seen an increase in VO2 max now, which, it, which is interesting.